Hello, I'm Greta Rodriguez. My pronouns are she and her, and I'm running for NEA District 10. I'm an 18-year veteran teacher that specializes working with English language learners at middle school. I dedicated my whole profession to these students, and I believe in advocating for the most marginalized. I want to thank the beautiful warriors in this room that have sacrificed their weekend. And for those of you that it's your first time, I'm sorry if someone told you this is a vacation. Today, I am wearing white in honor of Women's Suffrage Act. The women of color were not included in this movement. The women of, the women of color in Congress wore white in solidarity for women, and I'm doing the same. I'm a single mother of two beautiful children, I ha a high-functioning autistic child, and a proud parent of a gender-fluid baby. I made many sacrifices being in the union as a single mother such as last night my child's birthday was and he was there campaigning for me. Don't feel too bad for him. He's um, using room service tonight. I'm scared to look at that bill. <laughs> so I've been told that due to my union work, I damaged my children. If raising a son that runs across the campus to offer an umbrella to a teacher and a gender fluid child who makes a speech to the school board to stop gender bender, I think I've done a pretty damn good job. I've lobbied, I've lobbied in Sacramento for charter bills and met with Todd Gloria, Ben Wessel, Tony Atkins, and Lorena Fletcher Gonzalez. I have made an impact when I share my personal stories attached to the talking points of CTA. We need leaders that can shift a room, can shift a vote, and I believe I'm that person that can do that. I want to keep the alliances we have in Washington, D.C. and help build new ones. As the NAA director, I seek to represent not only San Diego, but the whole state. And I want to work in collective to, with other NAA directors. I believe in collective action, pushing forward. I listen to all my members and understanding their causes, causes when we're going to Congress. As co-chair of CTA Women's Caucus, treasurer of the NEA Women's Caucus, I have listened to women across the state and the needs that they have. I want to increase the child care support for women and seek representation. Our profession is 75% women, and we are not seeing ourselves in leadership. <laughs> Organizing unity comes from a place deep in my heart. My actions come from a place of revolutionary love, the kind that calls in members, not out. We are, grow we are a growing organiz organizing culture in CTA, one that holds people accountable. And there's a difference between calling a member out and holding them accountable. One says that I'm gonna help you build the skills, the other one chastises you. Our enemy is not in this room, our enemy is outside this room. We create our best arguments in this room and we need to protect those conversations so that we can have healthy discussions that make us stronger. While the world calls you out, daily administrators, parents, media, you don't need me to call you out. With love and compassion, I wanna help build you up, make us strong, so strong that when our feet hit the ground in the morning, even the devil knows we're coming. Trust that I am that fierce advocate that the devil has learned my name. Vote for Grado Rodriguez, NEA District 10.